I don't belong here. I'm, sp I'm supposed to be in Europe. I already forfeited my ticket. It's supposed to be in California. I'm trying to go to the airport. What? I'm gonna Google review you losers. You loser cheese butts. What? You don't have to treat the veterans who are on disability this way. She. I'm offended by this. I don't have to wear a face mask and I'm not a she. I'm trans. I'm not like gender oriented like everybody else. I'm a male anyway. And my family is in the police, chief of police in Rhode Island, and these chumps are telling me what to do. Go shove it. I'm supposed to see Edward Snowden. Why don't you take this crap from these minorities? They're just a bunch of minorities. No good, useless minorities. I don't care whatever you have to say. This isn't a crime. I'm not gonna pay ever again to see in these chump towns. Do whatever you want. Try to arrest me whatever you want. It's being recorded by the National Security Administration. Now, let's call them in Little Compton, Rhode Island. Chief of Police. Let's call my people against your people. I don't give a rat's butt. You know, this is how you treat somebody. You, know, tr you can't even tell them how to take the bus. Well, I'm going to hire myself. This sucks. And you suck. Anyway, this is ridiculous. I'm fed up. I had to be in law enforcement. I'm going to read you the riot act. Human resources. We're just, look, do you know how far I've been walking? I've walked 15 miles to any of these chumps are going to push me around in the Queen's English. I've had it. I had nothing but a bunch of chump losers. Go and go run with your... Hey, are you guys hiring? Are y'all hiring? Why are you calling me ma'am? For your information, you are very rude. Call Sacramento police. We'll call all the police in America. I don't, really don't care. I'll read you the right act. We've had it. We in the military have absolutely had it with these chumps telling us what to do, telling us we're supposed to pay, and we only want electricity, and we, want, we don't really want to be in Houston. A lot of people are basically stuck here. And teachers are paying property taxes for these people to go to public schools and get on Section 8 and they get food stamps and they get retirement. I've had it with that liberalism. I will not put up with liberalism. It's ridiculous. And they're like calling the police, telling me that whoever Well, we're gonna protest this. And I don't always have a lot of money. I couldn't reach some of my relatives today. And I'm gonna call my people and I'm fed up with this junk going on. Boy, oh boy, this is a violent, this is a crime to speak English. How dare you speak my language? How dare you? Who do you think you are? You're gonna be complained to the board, be better business bureau. I don't know, some people are jealous of other people, you know? Asking me over and over again personal questions. Why? You know, shame on you, what is this place? Where am I, Stafford, Texas? I don't even know where I am. Well, I'm complaining because this is harassment. 
You know, I give social work to people and in need, and I don't need to be mistreated and abused. And they're not going to tell me in my time. Or it's our civilization that made clocks in the medieval days, not theirs. Not theirs. They can just sit on their butts eating falafels. Where is your office? Yeah, that is fraud. I think we've got a lot of fraud going on. Nice Africans. Oh, the baboon Africans. Anyway, I went trying to go to our cousin's house. Sugarland type. I guess we just go underneath the over. I mean, if they could be helpful and provide directions and not just say, hey, it's over there. Mm. You know, really? We gotta, we, we have to pay our money. A hard earned money like that has to go to those people. I'll tell you. I have had it. And then they dump on the, on the Mexicans a lot. On these unknowns. But yeah, we don't want you guys, you Romanians and Sweden, get out, you know? Okay, deal with it. Hey, uh-oh. Some chumps are out to get me. What is the, how does one apply to work there? Kel, jobs, well, but I never, they never, they never like get a hold of me. They never, um, they never like, re they never respond to my resume. I post a lot of resumes and they just simply don't respond. I'm leaving before. What are they gonna chase me down? Shut up! Don't call me ma'am and don't shoot me! Don't call me ma'am! I'm a sir! I'm a male! What? I am not trespassing! I own this place! What? I just. Well, don't shoot me and nobody is allowed to get near me with a gun. I don't have that much money. I was in the military. My cousins live nearby. And I've been walking 15 miles today. Okay. And there are no places to charge up your phone. I'm sorry about and that. And then you can't even find how to get to the, to the airport. I get that. That's real frustrating. I'm sorry. It is so that. frustrating. Yeah. I hate guns. And I don't want to be killed. We're not going to kill you. You can clobber me, but I don't want to be killed. We're not and I'm related to Queen Elizabeth. And okay. I had to forfeit my ticket going to London. And why are people always asking me about my ethnicity? Okay. And I'm related to the queen and I speak English. And I can't get a job and I'm on disability. And I've already wasted a lot of my money. And my cousins live right over there. And I was in the army and I even have my army badge on me. And those dopes in the motel, they are so rude. And I'm going to Google review them and go to the Better Business Bureau. And I was looking up the marshal's office and I already called the marshal's office here and all over the place. And then I have to go to my friend's house over in Wharton. And I brought too much stuff with me on my vacation. Okay. And I need to leave. So where are you staying at? At my cousin's house. And I'm nocturnal and I got to go. Okay. Are you I just have to go to my cousin's house and I'm going to Google review and we're going to... We're going to have the president take, get rid of these people's jobs and they're going to get deported. And if they don't like it, shove it. You know? They don't belong here. It wasn't like this in the olden days. People used to be nice to each other, make pleasant conversation, have a good time. Instead of trying to, like, just take advantage of people and make money off of them. And I can't even find the bus stop. Well, Stafford, unfortunately, doesn't have any bus stops. Uh. Well, thank you for telling me that. No problem. And then I've been walking, and then I tried to get some, there were a few plugs at some of the car dealerships. They, I guess they used the circuit breakers to cut off the power. And then sometimes I can't make up my mind because I don't have that much money. 
and you can't always figure out how to get someplace, and sometimes you get lost, and people give you crummy directions. And I don't know why the teachers are having to pay property taxes for other people to go to school when they don't seem to make very good use out of it. And for that matter, I don't see why the police are paying their property taxes either. And the librarians and the social workers. And then, you know, you get all these nimrods getting elected into government. They don't even take our suggestions. And people on disability, really, they want to ride Amtrak and they want to pay less. And there's a Federal Utilities Act and they don't even, some of the law librarians don't know what they're doing and they don't call you back. Some of them are good, but sometimes you don't have enough time to stick around in the law library. And sometimes you don't have the right electronic equipment. You go into Fry's and some people are very rude. And Fry's is not a very good store after all. And sometimes you can't get your money back and something that you bought. And, uh, you know, what the heck? You said your cousin lives nearby? Where do they live at? They live on Raven's Court in, uh, over in Sugarland. And I was going to go to the tax assessor's office. And I know where they live because there's a, the neighborhood. We know where they live. We just don't know the number on it. And uh, uh, we know them. And there are cousins going back centuries. Over a thousand years there are cousins. And, you know, they're on our side and they would stick up for us. They just don't have our phone number and we don't have their phone number. Oh, we know somebody's on the board of AT&T. You don't happen to have your ID on you, do you? This. I got my passport, too. And I don't want to be called man by people. It's very rude. We I'm should. Sorry about that. We should have people's IQs on their um, ID cards instead of their, like, height and weight. And they're, you know, because my godmother got had to become a double amputee. You know your and birthday? veterans become amputees, so that changes that statistic. You know your birthday? It's November the 8th, 1976. 76? Yeah. All right. Now what? Uh, Kelly, I can't give you my name. Whoa. Uh, do you have a ride or something? I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get, get, get out of here. I'm trying to, I know I'm supposed to go under the overpass past the Jack in the Box. And then while I get a little bit confused on the Google Maps sometimes. And I walk on, on Airport Boulevard. If I keep walking on Airport Boulevard, it's going to merge with Eldridge. And I'm going to make a left there at the Sonic. And it's a few streets over from there. I know how to get to their house. Okay. And then there was a library, too, on the way. I was going to get, you know, why is it easier to get a gun than a library card? Do you know how hard it is to get a library card in the United States if you don't have some kind of address? Well, that don't make no sense, does it now? Because I'm going to go to every library in the world. And I've uh, been to some international. When you go out of America, you can get a library, in Europe, a library card in Europe for free. And they give you one right there. You don't have to check out materials, but at least they give you a library card. Now it don't make no sense what's going on in America, you know? Well, well Kelly, the, the overpass is this way, so if you want to start heading that way. Sure, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want to get a job, and I don't get, I don't get hired, and I can't find the job center. You know, I just know where the career center is. i print out my resume. Well, you're just not in the, in the business. well I, I don't care. We're going like, to fire them anyway okay. and send them back to wherever they came from. Whatever miserable place they came from, they don't need to be proliferating here. We don't need them with attitudes like that, using English like that. I mean, get real, man. Do we need that? No. Do they like themselves that much? No. So, where's the jack in the box? Oh, there's the jack in the box. So you just go like from the jack in the box right under the, yeah, right under the bridge. Straight. There's actually a sidewalk over there, and then when you get to the intersection, just hit the little button so you can cross the bridge. All right. Thanks a lot. Take care of yourself. Okay, come on, hurry it up. And then people try to run me over, you know? It's stressful. Yeah, but it's not always that safe. They're putting the sidewalk way too close to the road. They're violating the move over safety laws because, you know, somebody might not be in their uniform. They could get a flat tire. Anybody could get a flat tire.
Oh, that's good.